Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Stable Diffusion tutorial, we're going to see how to create better prompts for Stable Diffusion 2.0. One of the complaints a lot of people have been talking about for Stable Diffusion 2.0 is that the previous prompts that they were using, they had mastered using Stable Diffusion 1.4 or 1.5, do not work well for Stable Diffusion 2.0. And the primary reason for that is the text encoder, which actually converts, takes your prompt, maps it with the image. It's called text encoder. So this text encoder, previously Stable Diffusion was using one by OpenAI, the clip encoder, but now they have moved on to open clip, which is a different text encoder, which means the text that you are using as prompt for your images are not going to work. And that is the first problem. And then the second problem is the new Stable Diffusion training data has eliminated a couple of artists, which means, for example, if you are using Greg Rutkowski previously, that artist name is not going to be usable anymore in the new model in itself. So all these problems have created chaos and confusion in the community that you cannot use existing prompts. Thanks to this new tool that is built by Sylvain Filoni, who uses Clip Interrogator and tries to convert the 1.5 or 1.4 prompt to a prompt that is compatible with 2.0. First, let us see a quick demo of how it works. So you've got a text box here. I'll link this uh, Hugging Face page in the YouTube description. Please check it out. So you can go here and enter your Stable Diffusion 1.4 or 1.5 prompt text and then click Submit and then it is going to convert that into it. So the way you can use it is you can go to lexica.art where you've got a lot of prompts. Copy the prompt that you like and then come back to prompt converter and paste your prompt here and then click submit. Once you click submit, it is going to create the new prompt that is compatible with Stable Diffusion 2.0. Now copy this prompt, go to your Stable Diffusion and then paste this prompt and then see how it is going to work. I have like found out that certain prompts really work fine um, in my experiment that I've tried. But again, given that Stable Diffusion requires you to have uh, a negative prompt or a negative prompt is quite essential for stable diffusion 2.0 than uh, stable diffusion 1.5 uh, i think you need to add stable uh, you need to add negative prompts for you to get better image but you can actually see certain problems for example if an artist name is not there that is solved if uh, if something that was not very uh, compatible with stable diffusion 2.0 that is also now you get a better prompt now all you have to do is change negative prompt and then get a better image in itself so how does this work? The way this works is it takes this prompt, creates an image using Stable Diffusion 1.5 and then sends that image to Clip Interrogator, which is another um, very good application. And that application takes this image and then reads this image and tries to understand it and then creates a prompt based on it. And that prompt is returned to you actually. Like you have a prompt that is for 1.5 or 1.4. Now a stable diffusion 1.4, 1.5 model is used to create a new image. That image is fed into the clip interrogator, which is going to read the image and give you a open clip compatible prompt. And that prompt is now given back to you here, which you can use to create a beautiful stable diffusion 2.0. See, this is not a foolproof solution that is going to make your prompt amazing, but this is going to solve certain problems like the kind of language that you use, the artist that you are missing. So it's going to solve that problem, but you still have to go with things like negative prompts. For example, I can say negative prompt, um, 3D, ugly, um, and then I can again try to generate it. So that is going to create a better image and using the prompt as it is. But this actually solves the problem that everybody has been talking about, that your existing prompts do not work very well. And this is a wonderful opportunity opportunity for you or for us as a community to improve ourselves to create better um, better um, prompts and you can as you can see like while we are talking this image looks really beautiful to me i don't know whether it is exactly what that um, the original prompt would have created but i am actually um, honestly happy with the kind of image that it has generated here and i would love to know if you have found this useful or if you have any other prompt tricks that you would like to share it with the community um, this link and everything else will be in the YouTube description. Please check it out. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Peace.